everybody, welcome back. I know it's been a long time since I've posted a video, but I am back with a, another sketchbook tour. Um, I'm actually pretty late with this one. This one I finished up uh, beginning of August. So right away, this is the Crescent Render Flat Lay sketchbook, I believe. Um, I'll leave all the information in the description. I didn't really care for this sketchbook, and right away when I open it, you can probably see why. It like completely has broken off of the cover and didn't actually ever lay flat, so I don't think I'll be buying this kind again. I might get the render pages again, but I didn't really care for it. So this one, this sketchbook, I started May 8th, 2017, and I finished August 5th, 2017. This first page is just a compilation of drawings from one of Paris's music videos. I think it maybe even came out that day. Um, it's always kind of scary starting a sketchbook. Uh, after that, I did some Paramore drawings. I don't like this one because I drew her, tor her torso too long, but I really like the color palette, so, you know, you learn. I really do like this one. This, I just had some fun experimenting with different colors and textures and shapes, and I really like that one. I think it's really fun. These are some Paramore inspired pages. Didn't really spend too long on those, just kind of more of warm ups. This is a page I didn't quite finish. I was doing some little famous last words music video drawings. It was going to be something, but I don't really remember what for. This was some drawing from life I did out in a garden of some pansies and a bumblebee. So there were lots of bees that day. And I really love pansies and drawing them. I think they're a really cool shape. And overall, I just really like them. <laughs> These are more drawings uh, from life in a garden. Uh, this is like a little water feature, which is like one of my favorite areas of the particular garden. More drawings from that garden. This is an original character concept, just kind of messing around and playing with color palette and character design. These pages I really like. This one is a Lana Del Rey page, which I used markers and gouache. I really liked the combination together. I think it really made a cool texture. So I really like this one. And then this painting, I really like. I really like just this part of it. If I could crop it just to this, that's what I really like. I really like the way the guitar turned out and the hands. Uh, I'm really, I'm proud of this one. I think it was really fun to experiment with gouache and kind of some different color palettes. Here's another gouache painting. And then this one is a gouache background that I used to cover up another drawing I didn't like. And then I did this other drawing over the top of it. This is Manami Frost. I like watching her videos. I think she's a cool person. On the left here is a gouache painting of Purity Ring. I I spent a long time on this painting, but I really like the way it turned out, especially a lot of the textures and colors in the hair. Over here was just kind of more of a planning page. Um, yeah, there's not much to say about that. These are some sketches from the zoo. I didn't really get to finish them. I don't remember why. I think maybe I was running low on time and the zoo was going to close, so they just ended up being more sketches and I didn't ink them or color them or anything. And then this was just like a little thumbnail painting. Over here is a logo design for a friend's band. They wanted kind of like a old school traditional tattoo kind of style owl and a rose. Then I created this ransom note style lettering to go with it. So they ended up really liking it. So if you're watching this, here's the, uh, here's the originals.
This is Janelle Monet. I just was obsessed with this hairstyle and that's really the whole reason I drew that picture. These are a couple of people from Tumblr and yeah, some pals. This is a like self-portrait kind of drawing I did. Just kind of for fun captures my summer days off, you know, going to Target, drinking a slushy, wearing my death hat. That's about it. <laughs> this was just a little study of some images from Pinterest and kind of changing them up to be a little bit more of a comic book style. Um, yeah, I don't have too much to say about that. It was just kind of capturing a certain aesthetic for this town idea I have. This is a portrait I did because one of my favorite serials from my childhood came back. This is a page of some sketches that I did for a friend for a tattoo commission. So they're like artwork from the Black Parade album. This I drew like, kind of for a friend or based on like a friend's concept of the Black Parade outfit, but with a skirt. I don't know. I don't like the way the drawing turned out, but it was fun. And then this was just a little sketch of Halsey, because I was obsessed with the colors in this picture. I thought it was really cool, and I really liked the way that the lighting turned out um, on her face. I, I just love the color palette of this. These were some portrait commissions I did. I had a little special going on where I would do like your portrait for social media icons or for whatever. And I'm still doing these. If you ever want a portrait, I will draw your portrait for you. This was more of like a sketch page, a uh, planning page. This was inspired by a song by The World is a Beautiful Place. This is a little painting of Nimbus, the ghost dog. I This was definitely a cover-up page because there's a lot of paint on the background. I don't remember what was underneath it before, but it got covered up. This page didn't work out, so that's why I put a post-it over it because I did something I liked on the other side. So I thought I might want to cut it out so I didn't want to do something on the other side. This is a drawing of Fun Ghoul with his hair in a bun. So, bun goal. It's totally like stupid and silly, but it's one of my favorite drawings I did in this book. <laughs> um, this is another page of Nimbus, just kind of some sketches, and I actually really love this one. I like the little kind of scene that I did here. Oh, Jim. Here are some more drawings of Paris. I think this is from one of their music videos. I don't remember which one. This is another page that was covering up something else. So what I'll do is I'll just mix up some opaque gouache and paint the whole background over whatever I didn't like and then just use ink or colored pencils or something over it. So that's what was going on there. This is a gouache and ink painting of Party Poison. Really love the colors in this. Had a lot of fun with that. This is one of my favorite paintings in the book. I'm not even the biggest Halsey fan, but I just had an idea based on this image and I went for it and I really, really like this one. I like the way the colors and the textures turned out and the combination of ink with the gouache. I just, I really like it. So I left that next page blank just so I could cut this out when I was done with it. This was just a quick bouquet study, probably based on another picture online. This is a self-portrait I did, and I used as my icon on Twitter and Instagram and stuff for a while. This is just kind of a miscellaneous page. I did have some like, circus lettering and some like circus scenery, I guess. I don't know. This was, it was based on a picture I from Pinterest. 
these are just some girls um all probably just pictures from pinterest that i stretched and changed a little bit This is a gouache and ink painting of an iguana. I have a speed paint video of this on my channel if you wanna check it out. And then this next page is from the video where I talk about how I ink and color hands. So also a video on my channel if you wanna check it out. Here's a drawing of Paris, just kind of playing with textures and color. This was based on an old painting or drawing I saw that I wanted to Kind of try the style of so this is more of like a study these were some i wanted to make a paris poster i kind of forgot about this and abandoned it but based on that previous page i wanted to make a poster so i was kind of playing with some lettering it's a little scott pilgrim drawing uh, another self-portrait just kind of a my summer outfit I wonder if you guys can hear Jim playing downstairs. <laughs> These are just some wildflower studies. I wanted to do a gouache painting that involved a lot of wildflowers, so I wanted to draw some of them first to kind of have an idea of what flowers I might want to use or what color palettes I might want to use. There's a lot of Paris in this sketchbook. Just really liked drawing them recently. It's been just kind of something new to draw. This one I like a lot of the textures in. I used gouache, watercolor, um, ink, colored pencil, maybe some other stuff on here. I don't know. I just really wanted to play with textures and mixed media, but I really like this. I really like this big flower in the blue. After that, I have a couple pages of Wonder Woman because I was in love with the movie and needed to draw her. So they're kind of all in a different, they're all in different styles. Like some are a little bit more cartoony and some are a little more realistic. This one is with gouache and ink. There's also some metallic paint on there as well, just, just because. These are just some sketches of Nimbus the ghost dog. This is a drawing of Peter from Dry the River, which used to be one of my favorite bands, but they broke up. And so I was feeling very nostalgic about them and wanted to draw this. I'm obsessed with this color palette I used. I really want to use this again. On the opposite page, I drew some horses because that's like some imagery that I get a lot of from Dry the River's music for some reason. Um, I used the same color palette from the other page and they kind of are spread so I don't know they go together I really I really like this though I really like this horse I'm not even really into horses but they're really fun to draw and then the last page another Nimbus the ghost dog just a gouache painting kind of mixed media I used some white charcoal on it to give it kind of that foggy effect I don't really like the way this turned out but I wanted to finish up this sketchbook because I really disliked this sketchbook. Not the content in it, but the book itself. It just, I was not crazy about it and wanted to use it up. I got a bunch of stickers on the back. And that's the entire book. Thank you so much for watching. I have several other sketchbook videos. I will put a link to my sketchbook videos playlist and you can check those out if you like. You can follow me on Instagram, Inktober's coming up and I plan on doing it every day. So if you wanna check in with me, you can follow me there. Thank you so much for watching. I will hopefully see you again soon. Bye.